what can we do um, leveraging our collective power, right? And thinking of power not only as the political power we hold, but also as the investment capital that we collectively wield, as well as the consumption power that we also hold. And so the first step for us has been to put together, uh, working to put together a investment fund. And we actually piloted this idea in August uh, as a small uh, demonstration of what a long-term multi-stakeholder investment vehicle lo could look like. Um, so we had uh, everyday people in, in August, we had about 175 people who put together uh, $20,000 with a couple of matching investors and um, really started raising the question of what would it look like for us to democratically decide how to invest our capital. So whether or not you put in $50 or $5,000, we actually have an equal vote mm -hmm. in deciding who we want to lend to, the kinds of priorities that are going to be for a fund, the expectations in terms of the ecological, labor, social practices of the businesses also that we want to see. And so we actually had um, a day, we called it the Solidarity Summit, and we had about uh, 200 people who came together and we had five um, black and immigrant owned companies. Some of them, for example, one is a black owned bike shop that wants to convert into a worker owned co-op. And they actually pitched to the community. Um, they shared what their vision for their business was, how they were benefiting the actual neighborhood, um, their goals for the future. And then uh, the residents and the investors had the chance to actually talk to them directly, ask questions, and then at the end we voted. Uh, and so it was an example of taking this idea of participatory budgeting, which is something that's been fairly popular or growing in popularity, uh, around the allocation of tax dollars, you know, city government money, and taking that idea that everyone should have collective and equal control over capital and bringing it into the investment mm. space.